In Saudi Arabia, a groundbreaking project is taking shape in the heart of the desert. This is not a traditional city. It is a radical departure from the urban sprawl we know today. Spanning 170 kilometers but just 200 meters wide, the line is designed to stack all aspects of daily life vertically. Imagine living in a building where your workspace, grocery store, gym, and park are all within a five-minute walk. The city will rise 500 meters into the sky, a height comparable to some of the tallest skyscrapers in the world, yet it will blend seamlessly with the surrounding environment thanks to its mirror exterior. Inside, the city will be powered entirely by renewable energy, featuring high-speed transportation systems that connect one end to the other in just 20 minutes. What makes the line even more extraordinary is its goal to house up to 9 million people without cars, roads, or pollution. Instead, the city will rely on artificial intelligence to manage resources and autonomous systems to handle logistics. The project, part of Saudi Arabia's $500 billion EOM initiative, represents the kingdom's ambition to diversify its economy beyond oil and position itself as a leader in sustainable innovation. However, this vision comes with challenges. Critics question the feasibility of such a massive undertaking, with concerns over environmental impact, construction costs, and the ability to attract millions to such an experimental living space. But if successful, the line could serve as a model for future cities in a world facing urban overpopulation and environmental crises. Jakarta's Capital Relocation, Indonesia Jakarta, Indonesia's current capital, is facing a dire problem. It's sinking. Built on swampy land and plagued by rising sea levels and excessive groundwater extraction, parts of Jakarta are subsiding by up to 25 centimeters annually. Coupled with overcrowding, severe traffic congestion, and pollution, the city is becoming unlivable. In response, Indonesia is embarking on one of the most ambitious relocation projects in history. The government is building Nusantara, a brand new capital on the island of Borneo. The site, located over 1,000 kilometers from Jakarta, was chosen for its relative safety from natural disasters and its potential to ease the strain on Java, Indonesia's most populous island. The project is expected to cost $34 billion, with plans for a sustainable city powered by renewable energy, featuring green spaces and smart infrastructure. Covering over 256,000 hectares, Nisantara will integrate urban living with Borneo's rich biodiversity, preserving rainforests while creating a modern, efficient metropolis. While the government views Nisantara as a solution to Jakarta's problems and a driver of national development, the project has sparked debates. Environmentalists worry about the potential impact on Borneo's ecosystems, home to endangered species like orangutans. Others question whether moving the capital will address the root causes of Jakarta's issues. Hyperloop Systems High-speed rail is impressive, but what if we could travel even faster, up to 1,200 kilometers per hour, without leaving the ground? That's the promise of the Hyperloop. Initially popularized by Elon Musk, this revolutionary transportation system uses vacuum-sealed tubes and magnetic levitation to propel passenger pods at incredible speeds. One of the most promising projects is taking shape in the United Arab Emirates, where a proposed Hyperloop would connect Abu Dhabi to Dubai. This journey, which currently takes about 90 minutes by car, could be reduced to just 12 minutes. Virgin Hyperloop and the Boring Company are at the forefront of this technological race, conducting tests and building prototypes around the world. But the Hyperloop isn't just about speed. Its closed system could drastically reduce energy consumption and carbon emissions compared to air travel and traditional trains. It could also redefine urban planning, making it possible to live hundreds of kilometers from your workplace and still commute in minutes. Challenges abound, however. Building the infrastructure requires massive upfront investments, and ensuring safety for passengers at such high speeds remains a complex task. Additionally, regulatory and political hurdles could delay implementation. Yet, if successful, the Hyperloop could usher in a new era of transportation, connecting cities and even countries like never before. Crossrail Elizabeth Line, United Kingdom. Beneath the historic streets of London lies a modern engineering marvel, the Elizabeth Line, also known as Crossrail. With an estimated cost of $23 billion, this ambitious project has created 42 kilometers of new tunnel, linking 41 stations across London and its suburbs. 
Designed to ease congestion on existing transport systems and reduce commute times, the Elizabeth Line now allows passengers to travel seamlessly from Heathrow Airport to Canary Wharf in just 38 minutes. Its construction wasn't easy, involving the use of giant tunneling machines that had to navigate London's complex underground network, avoiding utilities, historic sites, and existing tube lines. The project also faced significant delays and budget overruns, drawing criticism during its construction. However, now operational, the Elizabeth Line is expected to add billions to London's economy annually by improving productivity and access to jobs. It stands as a testament to the challenges and rewards of urban megaprojects. Istanbul Canal, Turkey Turkey is undertaking a bold and controversial project to reshape its geography. The Istanbul Canal Stretching 45 kilometers, this artificial waterway is designed to create a second Bosphorus to alleviate congestion in one of the world's busiest maritime routes. The Bosphorus Strait, which cuts through Istanbul, sees over 40,000 ships annually, causing safety and environmental concerns. The Istanbul Canal aims to provide an alternative route, reducing traffic and boosting Turkey's role as a global trade hub. However, the $15 billion project has faced criticism. Environmentalists warn that the canal could disrupt ecosystems and worsen water pollution in the region. Additionally, some question the economic feasibility of such an enormous endeavor. Despite these challenges, the Turkish government sees the canal as a symbol of its ambition to position Istanbul as a center of global commerce and connectivity. High-Speed Rail Networks, China China's high-speed rail network is nothing short of a modern marvel. With over 40,000 kilometers of track already in operation, it is by far the largest and most advanced system in the world. But China isn't stopping there. Plans are underway to expand the network to an astounding 70,000 kilometers by 2035. One of the most ambitious extensions is the China Laos Railway, a 1035 kilometer line that connects Kunming in southern China to Vientiane, the capital of Laos. This $6 billion project is part of the broader Belt and Road Initiative China's strategy to boost regional connectivity and trade. By providing a faster, more efficient transportation route, the railway is expected to transform economic opportunities in Laos, one of Asia's least developed countries. Domestically, China is also working to link its remote western regions to major urban centers, bringing economic development to areas that were previously difficult to access. High-speed rail isn't just a convenience for travelers. It's a critical driver of economic integration and modernization for the country as a whole. Challenges remain, including the massive cost of construction, ongoing maintenance, and ensuring these routes remain profitable. Nevertheless, China's high-speed rail projects represent the future of efficient, sustainable transportation. Hinkley Point C, United Kingdom As the world grapples with the dual challenges of meeting growing energy demands and reducing carbon emissions, Nuclear power is re-entering the spotlight. In Somerset, England, the construction of Hinkley Point C marks a pivotal moment for the UK's energy strategy. This $32 billion nuclear power station is the first to be built in the UK in over two decades and is projected to generate enough electricity to power 6 million homes. The plant will use two advanced pressurized reactors, providing a reliable and low-carbon energy source for the next 60 years. However, Nuclear projects like Hinkley Point C are not without controversy. Critics point to the high costs, long construction timelines, and concerns over radioactive waste management. Despite these challenges, the UK government views the project as essential to achieving its net zero carbon emissions target by 2050. When completed, Hinkley Point C will not only be a cornerstone of the UK's energy grid, but also a symbol of the growing role of nuclear power in combating climate change. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, Ethiopia In East Africa, Ethiopia is reshaping its destiny with the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Built on the Blue Nile, this $5 billion project is set to become Africa's largest hydroelectric power plant, generating over 6,000 megawatts of electricity. The dam is a crucial part of Ethiopia's vision for economic development. It will electrify millions of homes, boost industrial growth, and provide a stable energy supply for a country where more than half the population lacks access to electricity. Yet, GERD has become a source of regional tension. Egypt and Sudan, downstream countries that rely heavily on the Nile's water, 
have expressed concerns about the dam's impact on their water supplies. Diplomatic negotiations continue, but the project underscores the delicate balance between development and regional cooperation and managing shared resources. When fully operational, GERD will not only transform Ethiopia, but also serve as a testament to Africa's potential to harness its natural resources for sustainable development.